So listen to what the mayor of El Cajon in California says, the benefits that the migrants are getting. Because so many people are saying, oh, they're not getting that much. Oh, no, they're not. Well, listen to what he says and how much they're getting. Now, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Who are you? My name is Bill Wells. I'm the mayor of the city of El Cajon. And here in San Diego County, we're seeing a lot of stuff happening here at the border. And you guys being a border town, how is it affecting the city here? Since uh, October, we've had over 250,000 drop-offs in San Diego, these street releases. The county of San Diego already spent uh, $6 million on a, a migrant welcome center, which... I'm not sure why we need that, but they've just allocated another $19 million for that. But, you know, there are also costs that you don't see. You know, everybody that comes across, whether they're a citizen or not, is entitled to full health care. That even includes having sex change operations. That's an expense for the whole family. Uh, people that come over with kids are put up in hotels. Those hotels costs eight to ten thousand dollars per month and that's paid for by the city so the, these are expensive things now there's a, a bill in california that says that if you're a illegal alien you can get um, free college tuition even a 20 percent down on a house these are things that american citizens are, are not getting who are you My yeah it's pretty surprising huh you try to look it up and see how much they're getting or you just try to say no they're not getting that much but I've heard plenty of different areas and states say they're getting way more than they should. When we have homeless people, homeless vets, struggling families, people on limp fixed incomes, people on Social Security. I mean, the max Social Security is like $930 to $950 a month in California. The max Social Security. You cannot live on $950 a month in California. I don't care where you are. Shit is so expensive, it's not funny. A fucking studio apartment in SAC is like 1200 a month. You're lucky to get one for 1000 So, it, we're done with the bullshit. They cannot be giving them these type of perks when we have too many struggling American citizens. And that's why we stand for Trump, because Trump puts us first. He would never be sending these billions to Ukraine. I mean, I don't care. $50 billion to Ukraine. $50 billion probably could have saved the whole homeless in all of the states okay this shit is unreal and it, it thank god it's coming to a stop soon but if you don't know who you're voting for you better vote for trump and look up tom homan tom homan said that trump donald trump's administration gave the biden administration the safest border in the last 40 years he's worked for six presidents obama gave him the highest ranked award for working for the border and deportations. Obama deported 8 million people during his presidency. That's over three, that's 375,000 people per year. And Obama said that illegals were not going to get perks over the US citizens. So why is that happening now under the Democrat party? I'm really curious. So, like I said, we're not standing for this shit anymore. Everybody needs to stick together and people that don't even vote normally need to vote this time because a lot depends on it united we stand divided we fall trump 2024